Hello, my name is Vicky Butterfly and I'm sharing some of my inspirations with you. Uh, in this episode I'm going to tell you about Marissa Karneski. Marissa Karneski is quite a hard one for me to talk about because as well as an inspiration, she is also a friend. Uh, I first met, I first came across Marissa's work as, as, as a designer through a friend and at the time Marissa was working on this amazing project called Marissa Karneski's Victorian Ghost Train, A Ride Through Haunted Borders. It was the aesthetic that initially, I suppose, uh, attracted me. There, were, there was, there was the, the magic, the illusions, the fact that it was, it was, I suppose, uh, quite immersive at a time when there wasn't you know, immersive theatre, wasn't quite a thing yet. Uh, but the more, of her, the more of her work I saw and the more I came to understand it, the more incredible I thought it was. It wasn't just, it was using entertainment to tackle serious, sub, serious subjects, um, but not in a, not in a, I think in entertainment it's easy to see, to see issue-led entertainment as being quite confrontational. Someone going, so this is this, what do you think about it? Whereas what I saw was more, it would be more like you'd, you'd watch something and you'd, we experience in it, and it would, and it would be beautiful, and it'd be moving, and then, and then you realise that you'd be, you'd be spotting things about it that that made you that made you think. Well, so prompt you think. Well, so what do I think about this? Why, you know, um, to, to to look a little bit deeper, to ask more questions. I'd simply call Marissa Karneski. I describe her. She probably describes herself, a showwoman, which is a very loaded. Which is a which is a very very historically loaded loaded phrase. It's because it takes in everything from the idea of creating creating the spectacle to a specific tradition of a, a spe to a specific tradition that she's actually written a, a book about now. Marissa Karski's done a lot of things to inspire me. Uh, I suppose from a from the from the subject matter from helping my development as a performer in in being in one of her shows Taradrome but all, but also not not just admiring her work but as I but as, as the more the more I saw her and the more I spoke to other people realizing how important she's been not just not just for a woman in performance not just well yes for 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 being a woman in performance for the for for the revival of cabaret and burlesque she, she was. She, she's been involved in Ducky from the from the from the outset, which is the queer performance art collective, and she she was one of the people who did one of the first, or maybe possibly the first burlesque, modern burlesque show in Europe at the Hoxton Hall, which was called Dragon Ladies, which was which was performance art. But she was she was one of the women to bring burlesque back. So she's definitely also a curator and archiver of women female experience, specifically female experience, which is often something that gets lost. There's a lot about, there's, there's a lot by, by about Mar Marissa Karneski on the interweb. She has written lots of papers, she's written lots of books. I think, I think the best way to, to find out what Marissa Karneski is about is probably to go and see one of her shows because because it's not just about what she's telling you, it's about what she's allowing you or inviting you to discover for yourself about your about yourself, about what you know, about what you think. It's it's always I think that's a journey through haunted borders. It's I think knowing Marissa, it's always like a journey through it's always like a journey through a through a through a strange and wonderful land, probably of your own psyche really. <laughs>